Chapter 10 is where we start to think about how we get your website into the search index. So if you've seen some of the other videos in this series, you may recall that getting into the search index is one of the most important steps because if your pages are not in the search index, they'll never be found. So this is actually maybe the most technical chapter in the whole book. And so if you've got the book Search Engine Marketing Inc. by Bill Hunt and me, it can be really helpful for this one to be able to look into the chapter if you have one of the problems that we're going to identify here. For many sites, especially small sites, you won't have any of these problems, and that's great. If you do have a problem, even if you don't think you're terribly technical, don't worry about it. What you really need to focus on is not whether you understand enough about it to solve the problem. That might not be your job. But what you really need to think about is can you help the technical people to identify whether this problem exists? And if it does, can you help point them to the place where they can figure out how to solve it? That doesn't take all that much expertise. So if you're not terribly technical, if some of these things feel like things that you would never ever be the one to work on, that's okay. The way you use this chapter is to familiarize yourself with terminology. Just learn a few terms so that you can ask good questions. So you can talk to your technologist and ask them a question that will cause them to do the investigation you need them to do in order to solve the problem. So, so that's what's really important. Now, if you are a technology person, you'll be able to understand everything that I say. And if there's some things that are unfamiliar to you, you'll be able to search for them, look them up. You'll be able to figure it all out. Um, but you might not be aware that these kinds of problems could exist. So whether you've got a technical background or not, even though this chapter talks about lots of technology, I'll make sure that I do it in a way that you can latch on to the terminology and you can get the problem fixed. So let's dive right in. So before we even look at getting your site indexed, that's only the first step of how we need to go after organic search. And so this chapter, chapter 10, is the first of four chapters in which we're going to go over things you do for organic search. So the four things are to get your pages indexed, to choose your keywords, which we'll do in chapter 11, to optimize your content, which we'll do in chapter 12, and to attract links, which is chapter 13. So these four chapters are the steps that you have to take to succeed in organic search. And so we're going to now drill down in the first step, which is getting your pages indexed. So this first step helps you understand how you know whether your pages are indexed, why it's so important for them to be indexed, and then what to do, what kinds of things could be wrong if they're not in the index. So after you know that your pages are in the index, then it makes sense to move on to the other steps. But unless your pages are in the index, none of those other things are going to get anything done for you. So it's possible, it happens, that there's a really severe problem going on that's keeping your pages out of the search index. And if that's true, you really need to understand what's going on in this chapter so you can fix that problem first. And because that problem can maybe be the hardest thing to fix for a website, that's one of the reasons we want to look at it first. Because if you identify it, you can then send the technologists off to take care of it. And while they're working on that, you can be focusing on keywords and content and attracting links and then you'll meet up at the end and you'll be ready to go. So let's focus now on getting your pages into the search index. So some people will tell you that the way you get your pages into the search engine is to submit your page to the, or submit your site to the search engine. And so this submission process is something that almost every search engine has and it's fine to use so if you really have a brand new site and it's not in the search index you can submit your site to the search engine you have to go to the each search engine site fill out a form telling it what your domain name is and send it in but 
I would argue that most of the time it isn't needed. Um, and and a, lot, a lot of times you run into problems with this because there are companies that are all over the place that love to charge you money and promise you that you'll get all your, your um, pages into the search index, but all they're really doing is doing the submission step for you. It's a very simple step that you can do yourself. Even if you're not technical, you can do it yourself. But I would argue that most of the time you don't need it.